What is going on guys? Justin here with a pretty big pickup video. Um, all this stuff comes from the same local reseller guy um, that I picked up that big lot of stuff from a couple videos ago. This is just basically everything that he had left that I didn't buy the first time. And I really didn't intend to buy all this stuff, but I went over to his place to check out some other stuff and ended up walking away with basically everything that he had left because he gave me a pretty solid deal on it. So there's really no good way to go through this since it's such a random mix of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to start here and end up somewhere over here. Um, I'll tell you guys prices as best I can remember along the way, um, but at the end I'll give you the, the grand total of what everything was. So let's start it out with um, some GameCube games. Uh, we got Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Uh, Resident Evil 4, this one was missing disc 1, but I actually have two extra copies of disc 1, uh, so I'll be able to complete that one. Um, Battalion Wars and Beautiful Joe, he actually gave me the discs for last time, if you remember they're in that Game Boy Player disc, and he had the cases for them, um, so I think he kind of just threw these in for free since I probably should have got them the first time. Um, and then Need for Speed Underground. Um, also for the GameCube for that uh, Donkey Konga, was it Jungle Beat? Yeah, uh, were the bongos. And then for the Wii, I got a copy of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now this was something that I kind of wanted the first time I was there. Um, and I can't remember how much he was asking for it the first time, but it's not in very good shape. It's just the disc in the case. Um, the artwork is pretty sun faded. And uh, it's got stickers on it and stuff. I can always put it in a new case. But he sold this to me for $25, which I think complete nice shape. It's like closer to $60. So $25 for one that's not in very good shape is a, a pretty decent deal. Um, for the Wii U, we got a sealed copy of Shovel Knight, which he sold me for $5. Um, let's see if Ryan wants this one for his Wii U. Uh, moving next to... Probably wait on that one. Uh, we got some PS2, Xbox, and P a PS4 game. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, disc only for PS2. Um, here's a Dreamcast game. This was um, The House of the Dead 2, which I have actually these accessories for. The Mad Cat's Light Gun. And um, this, it's, it's a bio gun, is what it says on the side. I've never seen this one before. It is a Dreamcast gun, um, but I'm not real sure who even made this. SRC, I guess, if that's a company. Um, if someone can give me some more info on this, that would be cool. Um, I'd like to know more about that. Um, moving on, though, we got uh, Dragon Quest Heroes for the PS4. I think he sold that one to me for $5, even though I don't have a PS4. Um, I think a couple of these were case, yeah, the case for Voodoo Vince. There's no disc in there. Um, and I believe all three of these were complete. Uh, Capcom Classics Collection. Uh, the Nightmare of Druaga. I've never seen that one before. And um, Namco Museum for the PS2. Uh, a couple other Dreamcast games I had here. Uh, nothing special though. Snowcross. I think I might need that one for the collection though. NFL 2K1. Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. And uh, Nightmare Creatures 2. Got a bag of memory cards and a few other random things. There was a couple Game Boy games in here. Um, for the Game Boy Advance, I got Sigma Star Saga and Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. He sold a pair of those to me for $10. And then um, I'm not going to go through everything in this bag, but I'll show the other game at least, which was Super Mario World, Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Um, I got a purple Game Boy Color from him with the battery cover. I think that was $10. Um, this was free, which was cool he gave to me. Um, Zelda figure. Maybe that'll go up here somewhere. Find a, find a spot for it. Um, this is the one I uh, didn't show earlier, Lethal Enforcers. Um, and the reason I didn't show it is because I wanted to show the guns that I got with it, um, both the Justifier guns, um, the blue one and then the much harder to find pink one, the second player controller. Um, I believe I've had this one before, maybe it was for the Sega CD. I think they're the same controllers though for the Genesis and Sega CD. So I guess I have owned them before, um, but I haven't had the, the pair of them in a long time. So that was, that was pretty cool to go with the uh, Lethal Enforcers. 
Um, moving on next, I'll show this since it's leaning up against my leg. Uh, Tekken 6 limited edition for the Xbox 360. Um, I haven't actually opened this up yet, but he said everything was in there. The, uh, the joystick, the game, and I think there was like an art book or something. Um, he sold that to me for $20, um, even though I don't really intend on keeping it. If I had a bunch more room, maybe, because it is kind of cool, but I was never a huge Tekken fan, so I'll probably find something to do with that. Um, but moving on here, I got a joystick for a Sega Genesis, an arcade stick. Um, he sold this to me for $10. I didn't really want it, but it was like one of the last few things he had left, so I was like, I might as well just take it at this point. Uh, so $10 uh, for that. What else was in here? There's a Dreamcast mouse, which I don't think I have one of these. Um, that was cool. Um, there's a WaveBird controller in here. Um, it does have the receiver, and it has the battery cover, but the clip on it is broken, so it's buried in the bottom there somewhere. Um, I'll either have to get a replacement for it or just do something with it as is. Uh, what else is in here that's worth showing? A couple uh, Super Nintendo controllers and a Super Nintendo um, AC adapter. Um, those were all $5 each, so 15 for those three. Um, the rest of the stuff in here was just kind of throwing gimmies that I don't really think I paid anything for. Um, PlayStation Move controller, this off-brand Dreamcast controller, PS2 controller. Um, that's all I'm going to show out of here. There's a couple random cords and stuff down there. Um, but onto some of the, the better stuff here, this being one of them. Um, this is just an empty box, so just a little disclaimer there, um, but it is in really nice shape, and I don't have this Super Nintendo box yet. Um, let, me, let me take a look. It's, it's pretty crispy. The only flaw is, of course, someone had to cut out the barcode on the back down here and probably mail it in for some rebate or something. But yeah, $139 Kmart sticker still on the front there. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Like I said, I don't have this Super Nintendo box yet, and I could pretty easily, I want to say, find a nice system, a couple controllers, the Super Mario World, find some instructions or something to put in here to complete it, so I might be doing that. Um, I might make that my next goal to uh, complete that very nice condition Super Nintendo box. I paid $30 for just the box. A um, little steep, a little more than I would normally pay for an empty box, but that one was in really nice shape. I mean, the styrofoam and the, everything is, is still in there, so I didn't mind paying that. I um, hope to complete that somewhat soon, anyway. Um, I got this for a dollar, a Game Gear, um, which he said worked, but like, I, you know, I think 10% of the Game Gears I've ever had worked, so it came with a copy of Sonic in the back, but for a dollar, even just for the game, it was worth taking a chance on. Um, and see, a PS2 fat system, um, which he gave me for, I think, 10 bucks. I paid for that. Um, on to some Dreamcast stuff here. Um, he had another Dreamcast system. This was the one I originally saw when I originally responded to his Facebook post. Um, I guess he had two of them. So I got one from him in the last video I got, um, last pickup video from this guy. But here's another Dreamcast system there. Um, he had, let's see, I got the cords for it. And one, two, three, four controllers. And there was a, some other Dreamcast stuff in here as well. Um, actually, two Dreamcast keyboards. Um, this one here, which was just kind of a loose keyboard, um, which I, th I already have one of these box, I think. Yes, I do. I don't know if mine is. Th these are the Seganet ones. Um, if they only made one, that's the one I already have, but I don't recall mine saying SegaNet on it. I'll have to double check on that. I'm, I'm probably wrong on that. Um, but there was another one in there as well that came in this um, cardboard case here, the plastic. Um, I think it originally had like a slip cover over it. Mine has like a, you know, slides on top of it. Um, anyway, coming down to the end here, a complete in box PlayStation 2. Silver system, the slim. Uh, I believe that was complete in there. I had a silver controller with it, both the cords. Uh, probably doesn't have the instruction manual or whatever, but the box is in decent shape. Um, so I've never, I've never had a boxed silver one before. And then finally, um, I got these two Assassin Creed Brotherhood uh, collector's editions. There's one of them there, and this is the exact same thing here. Um, he sold these to me for ten dollars each. I don't really have any intention on keeping them because I don't really collect for the 
PS3, um, and if I did, it wouldn't be Assassin, Assassin's Creed stuff. Um, but $10 each for them was a pretty solid deal. So I know I didn't give prices for each individual thing that I bought. There was just too many. It was all little deals that added up, you know. So it was too much to remember. Um, even though I pride myself on being able to remember exactly what I paid for everything. Um, the grand total for everything was just under $350. It was like $344 or something along those lines. Um, and so, well... It is kind of just a random mix of stuff. I think that was actually a pretty good deal for everything. Um, I would say, if I had to guess, it's probably about s closer to 60% of retail. Um, usually I like to be um, more around 50, but seeing as you know he did know what it was all worth and was willing to part with it for that price, I think it was a pretty good deal. So I'm sorry that it was just kind of a, a random mix of stuff. There was just no better way to, uh, to show everything. Um, but coming up in probably my next video, I have more stuff from this guy. It's not this random stuff. It's not a bunch of stuff like this, but it's it's the quality stuff that he had um, that I'm pretty excited to get. Most of it I bought for my personal collection. So keep an eye out for that video um, coming up next. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And until next time, take care.